this reading is going too well, and I hope you guys watch both parts of this because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to try to edit this together. I don't have time. This is already running late, so... Just to recap, for those of you who did not watch the first part of this, here's what's going on. Okay. Situation happened. You got your heart broken. You're not so heartbroken about it anymore. You went through a period where it was like, okay, this sucks. There's no light at the end of this tunnel. I'm never going to heal from this. I'm never going to recover from this. But it wasn't built on a steady foundation anyway, so it wasn't meant to last. So sometimes things that just weren't meant to last just come into your life to teach you something, possibly. I don't know. I haven't thrown clarifiers on any of this yet. So go to the judgment card. We got a two of wands on top of that. I'm a thinking you made the judgment call to finally let this go and move on. And that's what happened in the past. In the present, we got a nine of swords reversed and four of cups in the upright. <laughs> that four of cups is kind of flipping me out a little bit because that's that's like contemplation and someone handing you a cup and in that how it goes sometimes that and I'm and I'm only saying it because I, I don't want I don't know if I should I should clarify it before I say too much because over here with this eight of cups reversed and the six of pentacles and this nine of wands reversed and the sun reversed um I'm thinking that four of cups might be someone trying to come back, but I don't know because I see you rejecting it. I do. I, I see you flat out rejecting it. Like, you know what? Um, I threw the towel in on this and you didn't make the sunshine in my life. I applaud you for trying to make this better, but I don't want a part of this. And that's what I'm seeing for you, Libra. <laughs> that's just what I'm seeing. I mean, the cards may or may not be correct, but we'll see. Do I have a rogue in here? Oh my god, I have a rogue in here. Get out of there. What are you doing in there? Let's throw that back in there. I had a rogue. In you know what? We're going to see what that is. Strength. You know what? These things don't happen for no reason. I'm going to put that right up there. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. I don't know. Uh, it represents courage, it represents strength, it represents trust, it represents the polarities in a relationship, it can also represent holding back. So, you could be in a position where you're holding back right now. Alright, the universe, source, and spirit going to get some clarity on the cards on the table for Libra, please. Libra. April 2021. Real quick. Hi, four swords reversed. Yep. They have me a little bit restless too. Definitely has you in a, in a point of contemplation. Like, you know what? Um, yeah, I see you trying to hand this cup to me, but there's three empty cups down there that you left me with. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're upright, but are they full of anything? What's in the cup? That's my favorite phrase. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? Because if what's in the cup is going to lead to more of this right here... I don't know if I want what's in the cup. Just saying. I don't, I don't even need to clarify anything in the past because I think I got that. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed here? Three of Cups. Friends on. <laughs> yeah, you're over it. You know, uh, you want to be friends, that's fine, but um, I'm, I, I'm over you. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Why is the Four of Cups here? Justice. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of trying... 
trying to level the playing field, I guess. Trying to fix what happened. And it's your card. I'm trying to hand you a cup. Why is Eight of Cups reversed here? Page of Pentacles coming in with an offer. Why is the Nine... Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Communication. They got something they want to say, but I see... Again, I see you shooting it down. I see you shooting it down. Or they're checking out your social media page and they can't say anything. Let's throw one more on that. One and more. One on this Knight of Swords, please. Just one. Just one. Hi. Ten Pentacles. Oh, that's a big offer. Wow. Either they're coming in with a with a substantial offer or they are trying to see how, how you're doing and then they, they see that you're doing well and you're doing well since you threw in the towel on the whole situation and you... You're not picking the sticks back up and you're done and you're over it and yeah. Six of Pentacles, why is Six of Pentacles here? Queen of Wands. Here's the thing that happens when you play with the Queen of Wands and you know, never mind the pronoun. He, she, it, whoever, it's the energy coming off the card. Here's the thing when you play with the Queen of Wands. Don't cross her. Don't cross her. Because you will be playing with fire. And it's it's a very honest fire. And she already knows what's up. She knows what's up. And Li Libra, I totally think that you're being the Queen of Wands right now. You know what's up. You know exactly what's in that cup. And it's not something you want. And that's why you're not taking the offer. Because you're hopping off the merry-go-round of this karmic cycle that you're in. Hopping off the merry-go-round. You don't want to go through this again. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to go through it either. Okay. And, but you're being fair about it. Being honest about it. You're, you're giving what you received. Six pentacles. Take that whatever you want to. Why is the sun reversed here? King of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you still hold emotion for them. You still care about them. But... It's not how it used to be. It's not how it used to be, but the moment that you made that decision, you made that judgment call to let go and move forward, that was a pivotal moment. That was the soulmate moment that was meant to happen out of all of this. Sometimes soulmates just, they come into your life strictly for the purpose of teaching you something or allowing you the strength to have moments like that where you grow as you grow spiritually and that's amazing Libra I love it okay I'm gonna get your advice and then I gotta go get ready for work at my bread and butter job I'm so sorry that this is so short and sweet but sometimes it's short and sweet and to the point and that's what I love about you guys very often Libra you guys have short reads The Lovers and the King of Cups. The King of Cups is in the reverse so well. Wow. Yeah. I gotta flip out two more for that. Okay. Again, with the soulmate connections and the life lessons. 
it's okay. Especially after something like this, it's okay to just be friends. It's okay to admit that, yes, I still care about you, but it's not the way it was. And that's fine. But it's what you do with that connection. That I mean, that's completely up to you. Six of Swords Upright, Page of, page of Wands Reversed. Don't play with somebody's emotions. Don't do that. If you're not going to move forward with it and you're just going to move on from it, you need to be honest with that person. Don't play with somebody's emotions just because they played with yours. And I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers and accusing anybody of anything. That's just, and that's just how I'm reading that. You have to be nice. If you moved on from it, you've moved on from it and you need to let them know that you've moved on. Shadow side reversed in the two of cups. Yes, you need to disconnect from toxic things in your life. You need to disconnect from the ties that you are bound to. Especially if they do you no good any longer. If, if a connection has served its purpose. And it's time to go. It's time to go and move on to new things. Hermit reversed in the page of swords reversed. If you have not yet healed from something, sometimes it's best to limit communication for a while. And I don't know who that's for. I don't know who that little tidbit's for. Because <laughs> sometimes portions of the advice have absolutely nothing to do with the reading. So it's okay to have that distance and that silence there if you're still healing. And if they're being silent, maybe they're still healing too. So don't push it. Don't push it. All right. I got to go get ready for the bread and butter job. I love you guys. Be blessed. Thanks for hanging out. And Libra, I will catch you next week for your May reading. Take care.